friends. My name is Sophia. Welcome to the USA Test Prep Classroom. We are going to learn how to solve word problems using addition and subtraction. We can find special words that help us solve problems. When adding, we can look for words like in all, altogether, and total. When subtracting, we can look for words like difference, how many more, and how many are left. Drawing pictures and equations can help us solve word problems. When we use things like drawings and symbols, we can better understand what information is missing from word problems. In a word problem, the missing information is the solution. Let's head to the store to practice some of these problems. Follow me. A shopping trip is a perfect time to learn about math. Let's try it out. I have $20 to spend. I need to buy milk, which is $3, and eggs, which are $5. First, what is the total dollar amount of my order? Next, how much money will I have left over after buying these things? To solve this problem, I will first look for words that tell me which operations to use. Operations are methods we use to solve problems in math, like addition and subtraction. For this question, the word total tells me how to find the answer. What does the word total tell me we should do? Great, we need to add. We should start by writing an equation. We know we need to add the prices of the two items and that will give us the total. So we will write $3, the price of the milk, and $5, the price of the eggs. We can use a symbol like this for the information we do not know. We could use many methods to solve problems. Let's use a drawing and count. I will make a circle for each dollar I add. So for the milk, I will draw three circles. And for the eggs, I will draw five circles. Now, count them with me to find the total. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. These two items cost eight dollars. We just used a drawing to show that three plus five equals eight. Let's head to the register to solve our second problem. Our second question asks, how much money will I have left over after buying these things? Now that we know the cost, we can find out how much remains after buying the milk and eggs. Let's write an equation. In our second question, the words have left tells us which operation to use. Which operation will we use? Yes, subtraction shows how many things are left or the difference between two numbers. First, let's write an equation. We know we are starting with $20, so that number will go here. The missing information is how much money we will have left over after shopping. So we'll use a symbol to show that here. This space will be used for the amount of our order. Do you remember the total of our order? That's right, I spent $8. I'll use circles again for my problem. Here's a picture to show $20. Let's cross off eight circles to show the $8 I spent. Let's count how many are left. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Excellent. I have $12 left after buying milk and eggs. So 20 minus eight equals 12. You are becoming a math wizard. Let's head back to the USA Test Prep Classroom to wrap up. I had fun working through these word problems. Remember, word problems can be solved by looking for key words like in all and how many more. Also, writing an equation can help you decide what numbers need to be found. Now it's your turn. Write a short word problem using numbers smaller than 100 and ask a classmate to do the same. Trade with your classmate and solve the problem. Thanks for joining me. See ya.